Hello everyone and welcome to another random video on the internet. And today we are going to be building a character to defeat the man I simp for, I mean Boros. We're going to be building a character to defeat Boros. Uh, so, so yeah, we're going to be building a character to defeat Lord Boros in his released form. I already built one to beat his armored form. You can check that video out sometime later. But uh, if you like this one, of course. But yeah, we're, if you don't know how this is going to work, we basically have a bunch of categories. We're going to be spinning this wheel, getting one of four hundred, getting one of 147 characters, and we are going to be putting their attributes on this board, and hopefully by the end of this we're going to have a character strong enough to beat released Boros. And before we proceed any further, there will most likely be manga spoilers in this video, so you have been warned. But anyway, let's continue and... Uh, See what's gonna happen. So, let's see who the first character is. Unlike last time, we have quite a... Like, not a precise measurement, but at least a pretty decent idea of how strong released Boros is. Not unlike armored Boros. So now we can actually, like, see if we're gonna win or not like, relatively well. And unlike last time, where Boros kind of just in character would have allowed himself to get hit, now he's just gonna be going for me. Like he's just gonna be like a brawler rush down, like to just destroy my character. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do well in speed, strength, durability. Okay, so for Mosquito Girl, she has like really nothing. I guess would her claws count as weapons? If so, then I'll probably take that. Although, if I get the Sunblade, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take her skill in combat. She seems pretty... I don't know, I'll take her weapons. The Sunblade is rare to get, so... I'll just hold off on that. Imagine now I just spin and get, like, Sunblade atom Atomic Samurai. Okay, Hydrated Deep Sea King, what does he have to offer? Nothing, he's fodder compared to Boros. Look at this man, he's ripped, he's radiating lightning, he's smirking, he's like looking at this, like thinking what the hell is this thing? And why did I just fart it out of existence? Uh, I guess for him, size and shape, he's pretty big, pretty pretty jacked. Like, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's, gonna, uh, he's gonna have a range advantage over Boros. But at the same time, Boros might be harder to hit because of that, but who knows. Oh my, let's go, my man! Let's go! Speed, speed, speed. So, this is like initial Cosmic Fear Mode Garo, not Saitama Mode yet. Before copying Saitama, I believe him to be literally the exact same strength and speed as Meteoric Burst Boros. Because there's like a direct comparison between Boros and uh, this version of Garo. And clearly, narratively, that's supposed to mean that they're like on the same footing now, like definitively. And then he copies one of Saitama's moves and surpasses Boros. But before that, he, he was like Meteoric Burst Boros level. Just precisely that in narrative. So, yeah, in terms of speed, I'm already like. Maybe speed blitzing, maybe just like severely outspeeding release Boros. Okay, this is like the fusion between Drive Knight and Genos. I'll take IQ because they're both extremely smart and like I have their combined IQ pretty much here, so yeah, pretty easy pickings there for a choice. And I wasn't like I'm I'm doing pretty well in these videos so far. Okay, Spring Mustachio! Probably my second favorite A-class hero. Um, I'll take his uh, skill in combat. Maybe I'll like, yeah, sure, skill in combat. He's skilled with a sword, so maybe he would be skilled with claws too. I'm not too sure. I'll take his skill in combat. So durability is kind of useless now because released Boros is not hitting me under any normal circumstances, and with Drive Knight's IQ, I'm definitely not getting outsmarted by Boros, so 
I can ignore durability, but I still need good strength to beat him, and probably good endurance too, if I don't have enough strength to just one-shot him. Now for Vacuuma, like, he can, like, absorb other monsters' powers, or something similar to that. But there's not going to be any other monsters to absorb here, so he's kind of useless. Uh, I'll go with healing. Yeah, healing. I want to save abilities for if I get someone really good in that department, like say, again, Cosmic Fear Mode Garo or something, but I'll, I would just pick Garo's train. Oh my, bro, I'm doing too well. I'm doing too well. Against Meteoric Burst Boros, which I'm gonna be doing next, I already have the template prepared. Against that, I'm gonna be doing horrible. I'm calling it now. Like, they're just giving me these good options against these weaker Boroses, and then when when I get to the big boss, they're just gonna give me, like, Puri Puri Prisoner and Tank Top Master for stats. Okay, so for Blast, he doesn't have a single AP feat, like, in terms of strength, because even his, like, Gravity Knuckle relies on his abilities, not his physical strength. And also, he does zero damage to Garo, so we do not know if he could hurt released Boros or not, just physically. Um, there's a pretty good video on this topic, actually, Blast vs. Boros, I'll link it in the description. Uh, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I, I don't think he could, like, reliably damage Boros with just his raw strength. He seems to be more of, of like, a support type based on several things, like him not being able to destroy or kill Elder Centipede. And also him saying that he's going to lend back up to his teammates that one time. So yeah, I'll go with his abilities, like that's an easy choice. He has so such wacky abilities, like portals, gravity knuckles, and so on. Probably way more that we haven't seen as well. So yeah. Who's that? Red Garo. Oh, Endurance, Endurance, Endurance and Spirit, definitely. Definitely Endurance and Spirit. That is an easy choice, because this man Garo would just not go down. He was just not going down. Okay, let's see, let's see, who else? Rhino Wrestler. Uh, one of the sickest deaths in the series. But I have only these two left, huh? Durability, because it doesn't matter, but uh, I need good strength still. Unless I could just like teleport Boros somewhere. Just like teleport him toward like another galaxy, but we do know that Garo wasn't confident that he could go from Jupiter to Earth. So uh, another galaxy is probably out of reach even for Blast. So, uh, not sure. We need good strength. Like, really good strength, please. Okay, 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 pretty good, pretty good. Uh, bang. Technically, also, my character won't have any qualms about using the Explosion Heart to release Fist. Release Fist. So, I could amp my... Like... Bang's maximum strength would be higher than what we saw. It would probably be somewhere closer to the Garo that Bang fought. But personally, I think it's going to take like a million punches to take down Boros from this Bang. Because it's like... the gap between them is hilariously large. Because where I scale released Boros is around the level of final pre-Cosmic Fear Mode Garo. Like the one with four arms that was like bringing up continents and stuff. Like that one is where I scale released Boros for multiple reasons. Mainly because Saitama was clearly holding back against Garo the entire time. He promised Terio to not even like try to attempt to kill Garo. Meanwhile, he didn't have those same restrictions with Boros, and he called Boros strong twice. Meanwhile, with Garo, he was just saying, "Oh, you got a little, you got a little stronger. That's nice." Bam! <laughs> like it just like didn't matter at all to to Saitama. Like Saitama wasn't serious at all in that fight. He was literally trolling Garo all the way through. Whereas with Boros, he had a lot more respect. So 
like, there's, like, in terms of narrative and feats, I do have Boros at, like, above that level, even in his released state. Or, like, at, at the very least, at that level. And, uh, Bang is not doing anything to this Boros, if that's the case. So, um, I have the endurance and spirit of, like, the Red Garo, which is really good. I'm gonna be going for a long time. But I'm gonna run out of stamina eventually, without really being able to damage Boros much. Oh, except maybe if we say that Bang's like maximum power output is with the Eclernar Least Fist, so he's already buffed. And we add abilities of Blast, so Gravity Knuckles on top of that, you know, maybe with enough time we could whittle down Boros and actually damage him. But Boros, like, specializes in long-term combat. He has, like, regeneration and stuff. So it's like... He was having his arm blown off against Saitama, and he was still confident that he could just win the War of Attrition. So it, it's... I'm, I'm, I'm doubtful. I don't think I've got this. Like, if I can win, it's gonna be like a high, like, extreme difficulty battle. Like, 11 out of 10 difficulty. My character is going to have to, like, break through his limits to actually beat Boros. Unless, maybe, it's possible to, like, open a portal, shove Boros halfway through it, and then just close it and cut him in half or something. But even then, he might regenerate, and also, I don't think Blast can do that. If he could, he probably would have done that with Garo. So it's really tough to say who would win. Because my main attributes are speed from, from Cosmic Fear Mode Garo, so I'm gonna be outspeeding Boros hard. I'm gonna be way weaker than him, way too weak to damage him, unless with the Gravity Knuckle, depending on how big of a boost that is, you know, maybe I could do some damage. Really good endurance. Like, that's it. That's it. Also portals. And we don't know what else Blast can do. So yeah, uh, I think what's gonna happen is I will just bully Boros around for a while until I just run out of stamina and then he just bullies me back. And by bullies me back, I mean he one-shots me because I have trash durability. So yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.